Hey guys, it's Steph and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious what's going on here. Today, I'm gonna be doing a big fat PR unboxing. As some of you guys will know, I recently moved. I've recently been in and out of the country and over those past few weeks, this has happened. And I mean, this actually, this is actually a very small percentage of the things I have around me. Like I knew I had a lot of stuff to get through. Um, I counted and there's like 55 boxes like behind me, next to me, in front of me, over there. Just a little disclaimer before I actually get into this video, I know the majority of you don't care at all, but I still feel like I need to say it. I'm honestly not bragging at all when I do these videos. I'm so freaking grateful to all of the brands and companies that send me anything. You guys are always asking for these videos. I love doing these videos. I mean, how could I not? And also I feel like it kind of gives me a chance to kind of show you guys everything that I've like accumulated, been sent, bought, whatever in like one video. So then if there's anything you guys want me to like review or like try out or whatever, you can just ask me and I can do it. So yeah, um, there's no point wasting any time because we all know we're gonna be sat here for a while. Um, Let's unbox this stuff. If you guys want to see what I've been very kindly sent over the past few weeks, um, brace yourselves and stay tuned. All right, so the first thing is something that's very, very exciting for a few different reasons. Mainly because, basically, if you haven't seen it plastered all over the internet on my social media and stuff, I'm actually going to be doing another meet and greet with Kiko. I'm so excited! I'll put like all the details on screen now just in case I get them wrong, but I'm gonna be doing a meet and greet with them tomorrow between 5 and 8 p.m. in Manchester at the Trafford Centre at the Kiko store. So if you are in the area and if for any reason you do want to meet me, then yeah, I will just put all like the details on screen and also in the description box down below if you guys did want to see me. That'd be nice. Also, the first 100 people get a goodie bag. Like, the idea of even like hundred people come to see me, let alone the potential of any more is just like wild. But if you are one of the first 100 people to be in the queue, you do get a goodie bag. Everyone loves a goodie bag. So yeah, I want to hang out. I want to squish faces, give you a little... So yeah, if you guys did want to hang out, if you want to check out the new collection or anything, then I will leave all the details, like I said, down below in the description box and also on screen now. I can't wait to see you. Hope someone shows up. Please. So yeah, basically Kiko sent me a massive, massive box just full to the brim of their new Sicilian Notes collection. Let me show you. Like, I'm not gonna be able to show you all these products in this video, but like, look. Like, you guys know how I get with the limited edition Kiko collections, but like, this stuff I am obsessed with and I will tell you the main reason. It smells like lemons, like lemon bonbon sweets. Actually, this is actually my favorite highlight from the collection. This is the Sicilian Notes Highlighter Duo in the shade Gold Pantelleria. Don't know what that means, but it looks nice. Smells like lemons, looks like this. I know you guys love Kiko highlighters, so I thought I would just do a couple of swatches of this one. Boom. Say no more. What else have we got? We've got one of the eyeshadow palettes, which look Stunning. Oh my god, literally has got so much. We've got like brushes, got a cognac cleansing sponge. I've tried one of these in the past. <gasps> Imagine if this smells like lemons. I've, it probably won't now, but like if it does, oh my god. I think it does as well. Or does it? Am I just, oh, I think I'm just imagining that actually. Nah, it definitely smells of like something. I mean, what else do we have? I feel like they've literally just sent me like the entire collection. Um, these are lip liners. Whoa, there's loads of colors. So we've got eight different colors of lip liners. Nudes, love a nude. Whoa, that is hella creamy. What else have we got? We've got um, more highlighters, bronzers, baked bronzer, another baked bronzer. Ooh, skincare. We've got the energizing cleanser and the energizing toner. Ooh. Ooh, nice packaging. Got some blushes, um, another one of their nourishing bronzers. What's a nourishing bronzer? How can a bronzer nourish me? That's nice. I think that's like the lighter color. Yeah, that's the lighter one, but very nice. Yeah, we've got more brushes. We've got a full coverage Hydra foundation. They sent over a bunch of different shades. We've got ivory here, which is definitely gonna be too light for me, but I just wanna check out the packaging. Ooh, little tub. And then it also comes with a little brush there as well. And it says it's full coverage. I will put that to the test. Actually, speaking of test, do you guys want like a new testing Kiko makeup video? I don't know if it'll necessarily be like for the full Cillian Notes collection. It might be like a bunch of different random things from Kiko as well. But do you want an updated Kiko one? Because I could do that. But yeah, literally so much stuff. Primers. What is this? Little nail polishes. Eyeshadow duos. Ooh, energy face moisturizer. I need energy right now. 
So yeah, um, I feel like that warrants an entire video on its own, to be honest. Um, let me know if you guys do want like an updated testing Kiko video or something. Maybe I can like try this new collection or like a bunch of other stuff as well. But yeah, thank you Kiko. Literally like always spoiling me. And um, if you do want to see me tomorrow, then that would be very nice. Um, details down below. Ooh, I'm so excited and nervous. I'm really, really nervous. I hope someone shows up. Yeah, thank you, Kiko. Next, okay, I feel like I really need to like speed this up. I feel like I'm talking way too much. So next is something that I have kind of opened. Didn't really look too much into it, but it is from Bare Minerals. It says it's the, I feel like it's maybe their found, yeah. So these are the new foundation sticks, which a lot of you guys have actually asked me to try out. See, so yeah, I've seen some of you guys ask me to try this out. Let me know if you want me to feature in like a first impressions or like a standalone review video. Let me know. Next, I'm just gonna start pulling things from like around me because otherwise I'm not gonna be able to get out from my desk, because right now I'm literally barricaded in. What is this? This is Redkin. We have the Vibrancy Shampoo with Ginseng for color treated hair. Me. Oh, hair. Um, yeah, my hair's lighter. Didn't point that out, did I? Um, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the road to be coming back to like, my little like silver haired self. But uh, yeah, that's perfect Redkin because um, my hair is definitely color treated. And then I'm guessing this is some sort of like conditioner maybe. I'm gonna need a ton of that. Um, yeah, this this is the Nature and Science Vegan Color Extend Vibrancy Conditioner. I'm guessing this will smell the same. I can just fully smell the ginseng. Oh, it's so good. Next is something from... So this says, Dear Steph, I'm so happy to share my new lip shade Amber with my favorite girl crushes. Here's a little thank you for inspiring me every day. I hope you love it as much as I do from Tasha. Tash! So basically, Bobby Brown collaborated with four different influencers. Oh, Tash, this color looks good. Can't get it out of the little packet, but let's have a look at Sam's color as well. So yeah, these are the crushed liquid lips and they're in four different shades, like designed by those four girls. So this one is Sammy's and it's in the shade Hush Hush. I've actually never tried these before. Ooh, that's like a proper like rich kind of brownie mauve color. Oh, well done guys, thanks for sending that over. I'm really excited to try those out. Next is Sleek. Sleek, some sort of, some sort of stunning bag. Thank you, Sleek, you shouldn't have. What is this? Oh, 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 I've seen these things. These are like the lip, yeah, lip laminates, high impact lip color. These look good, these look really fun because they've got like, bunch of different crazy colors, like this blue and this like gray color, yes. And then we also have the Color Carnage Eye Divine Mineral Based Eyeshadow Palette. Ooh, hello, these are my tones. That looks nice, I haven't used a sleep palette in a while now. Next, oh my God, I know what this is. The Alyssa Edwards palette. Thanks guys. Oh my God, I'm so excited to try this. I freaking love Alyssa Edwards. I love ABH. And I feel like I have this little bond with Alyssa because the like, the main celebrity like lookalike that I ever, ever get is Alyssa Edwards. Mm, I'm gonna really poke myself in the face with it then. Oh my God, it's beautiful. I'm gonna swatch DDG and Brick Road. I'm literally trying to do like, the lightest little swatches. Look. Oh, shit boy. Oh, I cannot wait to try this out. Let me know if you guys do want a video because I am gonna be trying it out very, very soon. Um, yeah, let me know if you want me to film it and like do a little review. I can't believe it. Next, ooh, what is this? Oh, oh, it's incredible. But like their packaging seems to have changed. So it says, incre so it says incredible cosmetics says, hey, to super drug. Oh yes. Looks like they've had a little packaging rejig as well. Am I imagining that? I feel like the lo I feel like the logo is different. Yeah, because I've definitely tried this before. We've got the bounce blush. That sounds fun. That sounds like a texture I would enjoy. Oh, that's sick. What is this? It's the Feeling Vibrations Crystal Ball Roller Gloss. And it's literally got like crystals in the gloss. That is really satisfying to look at. Oh, it's scented as well. And then here we have the standard rollable gloss. This is the You Glow Girl Body Blur Lotion. Oh, I fully just dropped that on my crotch then. Okay, let's do a little. Oh my God. Oh my God, that blends in 
what the hell? I thought it was gonna be like a thick kind of like body lotion or something. Oh, I like that a lot. Thanks, Incredible. Congratulations on being in Superdrug. That is sick. All right, so next I got a little box. This is from, oh, Ciate. Thank you. So this says, it's, oh my God, it's the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer and Lip Oil. Oh, it's got cute little watermelon, like, Tissue paper. Ooh, okay, so this one is the hydrating primer. I want to sniff it. I want to sniff it. Oh, it's got little like beads in it as well. I feel like I'm getting way too excited today. Oh shit. That just smells like pure watermelon sweets. Oh, I just saw on the back as well. It says to celebrate the launch of our new watermelon burst collection, we've made a donation on your behalf to WaterAid. Oh, that's so nice. Next is another similar size box. Who are you from? Oh, Ciate again. You all right there, Ciate? Send me a lot of presents right now. This is the Marbled Metals. These like eyeshadow pigment. Oh my God, what are these? So we've got like five different shades. This is what they look like. I really wanna just try this one. It's in the shade Wicked. Whoa, that is, that's literally like you're not gonna be able to see it, but that is full on marbled. I need to do a look with that, I think. I don't normally get very excited about like single eyeshadows. I think it's purely because I find like a lot of time I have dupes for it in like palettes. But whoa, that has actually like thrown me off a little bit. That's so nice. Then I have something, ooh, from YesStyle. All right, so first of all, got a couple of sheet masks. I always have to make sure I'm stocked up. Then is something that I am so excited to try. I've wanted to try this for so, so long. I've got some of the pigments from Sugar Pill. These literally were in stock for like, I want to say like a day. And then by the time I'd actually gone to order them in the evening, like half of them were out of stock, but I still got some. So I got the single eyeshadows. I got one in the shame Flame Point. I got Love Plus. What else did I get? Oh my God, is this? Yes, I got the kimchi one. I wasn't sure if I actually got this or not, but I did. Uh, we also have Suburbia. This one, which is Mochi. Oh my God, this color looks so freaking good. Oh, packaging's nice as well. I thought it was gonna be, because I know you can like depot them. I was expecting the packaging to be like a little bit cheaper, but it's actually really nice. I've got another blue one in the shade Velocity. This is another one I really, really wanted. And then I have two of the liquid lipsticks, which is the thing I was like most excited for. I picked up the shade Crumpet and Trifle. Ooh. Literally, I've seen so many people using these products and I've just never had to get my hands on them. All right, next are some products that I actually picked up myself like ages ago and I lost this bag um, and I just, just found it again. So I thought I would just show you guys what I got. So I went into Morphe and I got the James Charles palette. A little bit controversial, I know. I feel like I just left half my face on that palette then. I've really wanted to try this palette and I've just never gotten around to trying it. So I thought I'm just gonna pick it up. So I got that, then I also got the Manny MUA Life's a Drag palette, which again, is something that I've wanted to try out for a really long time. I don't know, I just never really, I never really thought to pick it up online, but then when I saw it in person, I was like, screw it, let's do it. What else did I get? Okay, this. The Morphe Bretman Babes in Paradise highlighter palette. Oh my God, this stuff looks good, man. Look, oh God, there goes the slip. Just look. Oh, that looks so good. I'm running out of places to swatch. Let's just do it there. And that, my friends, is why I bought this palette. Maybe I could do some sort of like testing YouTubers makeup out. I did one of them years ago, but let me know if you want really to do like an updated one, because there's like obviously loads of different like Morphe palettes and stuff I can try. Yeah, that might be a good idea. If I do say so myself. Next, let's see what we have here. This is from Diego Della Palma. Ooh, what have you got for me? Ooh, I'm not normally into like bristly ones, but that actually looks really nice. Kind of looks a little bit like the Lash Paradise. Interesting. All right, now let's move on to something up here. Is that a top one? Yeah, okay, try to not knock all this down. Okay, when I saw this, I legit kind of freaked out a little bit and I was like, what? Oh, hello. Something new for the Born This Way collection, I think. So it says your favorite foundation now comes in powder form. Hello, that's pretty cool. It says, we tried our best to choose the three shades that would match you for all seasons. But if we got it wrong, let us know. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, that's not a bad color Too Faced. That's not bad. And then we've also got the Mr. Perfect Foundation Brush. Apparently it works with the liquid foundation, 
for undetectable full coverage. That's so soft though. I didn't even know Too Faced did brushes. Is that bad? Am I, am I alone here? Oh my God, thank you Too Faced. Next is another kind of pinch me moment. I opened this up, I had to show you guys cause I'm kind of in disbelief a little bit. Drunk Elephant. Drunk Elephant, like the, the very fancy brand. Um, they sent me some bits. What? <gasps> it's like little minis. Oh, that's so good. I've wanted to try out Drunk Elephant skincare for a while. You guys know I love my skincare and this stuff is supposed to be so, so good. Oh, I'm very excited to try that out. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Thank you, Drunk Elephant. Really appreciate that. I'm gonna try that tonight. Next is something from <laughs> Kiko again. You guys. Okay, so I've actually seen this collection as well. This is another one of their new collections. It's called the Beyond Limits. Is it called Beyond Limits? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I was just checking that wasn't like what this was called. This is the On The Go Mask Kit. We have the Beyond Limits Maxi Bronzer. On The Go Highlighter. What are all of these? We've got an eyeshadow palette. We've got tons of these pencils. Looks like different like eyeshadow sticks, eyeliners. What else do we have? A on the go blush and a Beyond Limits lip balm. Maybe I will chuck them in that updated Kiko testing video. Let me know what you wanna see. Right, be right back. I need to go and feed Michael because he's screaming at me. All right, so next I have something from, I don't know who this is. Uh, Stardust with Glitter, Bio Miracle. What is this? Hope you love unicorn masks and pop bands. Ooh, unicorn masks. Okay, so I've got a peel off mask that says unicorn glitter dust. That is an Instagram video waiting to happen. And then I've also got a sheet mask and then some pop bands. These are so useful. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I don't normally go out the house with these cause they are a bit too bright for me, but these are so useful for like just chucking my hair up and not like causing any dents or whatever. Next we have, uh, Barry M. Oh, hello. What have we got? We've got the Rebel Lash Colored Mascara. So we've got a pink one and a blue one. Some, so it's glitter pot. And it also says like all over it that they're biodegradable. So that's cool. This one looks really nice. Hi, how are you? Oh my God, this one looks nice. They all look bloody nice. We then have this, so what is this? Is it like a, yeah, it's like a little nail polish. So this one, it's just like a kind of like iridescent glitter. We then have one of the Serum Mist. This one is Cooling Cucumber. And then this is a glitz stick. What is that? Ooh. Oh my God, it's like literally like a legit glitter lipstick. And then yeah, we've also got the different face gems. These are cute. Next we have, what is this? What is this? Ooh, it's, oh, what is this? It's from Beauty Blender. Glass Glow Shine Lighter. I've not seen anything about this. Oh no, it's broken a little bit, but I can fix it. Look! Is it just like proper like, just dewiness? How weird. Like to me that literally does just feel like an oil. It's like piqued my interest a little bit there. I don't know how that's gonna work. I will try it. Next is this bright yellow one from Shiseido. Oh, that's weird. I love weird. I say weird in like the nicest way possible. They're like these squidgy tube things. I don't know what they're called, but they're like, can you see that? They're in these like little like squeezy tubes. I kind of look at them like Capri Suns, but I imagine they'll probably do a lot more for your face than a Capri Sun would. I'm very keen to try those. Next, there's still so much to go through. I need to speed up. Okay, next. We have something from Lipstick Queen, hello. Okay, so we've got different lipsticks. We've got Old Flame, um, Adventure and Journeyland. So this one is the new shade shifting lipstick. A cactus green magically transforms into a hue of tangerine. Ooh. Oh, and then this one, the Old Flame one, it says, spark up the past and watch your lips as they transfor transform from a bright orange hue to a shade of vibrant peach. These, I need to try these out in a video or something. And then we have a Venetian Masquerade, which says it goes from a royal purple into a bright berry. Yeah, I need to try these out. These sound cool. Next is something from Sleek. Just gonna chuck you over there. So these are the new Lip Dose Lip Click range. 12 semi-matte Lip Dose lipsticks. Oh, baby. So it comes in this box here. I feel like I've maybe seen something about these online as well. Oh my God, I love the way 
This packaging pleases me a lot. I kind of don't want to like break into it because I kind of want to use it for like an Instagram video or something. But these are just like, you can see the different shades that they have here. These are the soft matte lip clicks. I guess they just kind of obviously come out of the top. I'm guessing like a sponge or something. Oh, look at all these nice colors. Yeah, I think I might save them for a little lip swatching video. I think I might actually do that. Then we have something from, oh my God, Glam Glow. This, every single time, it's like a freaking pinch me moment. I'm like, what is my life? So Glam Glow have sent me, what is this? Massive. A no drip hydrating, hydrating sheet mask. Apparently it's a cold to the touch hydrating sheet mask. To be fair, it actually does feel very, very cold through this package. I don't know if that's just me being a bit like, doo -doo -doo -doo, but it does feel really cold in the packet. We then have another little package from, Oh, my friends at NYX, I love them. So we have the Fill and Fluff, I've seen this. I've really wanted to try this, but didn't have it in my local store. This is the Fill and Fluff Amazing Fluffing Brush Eyebrow Pomade Pencil. And then we also have the Filler Instinct Plumping Lip Polish. Next is something from Wizards. Oh, what is this? The OPV Rainbow Splash Palette. This sounds fun. I'm using my tweezers to get into it because I don't know where my scissors are. I haven't seen anything about this palette, I don't think, so I have no idea what, I mean, I kind of have an idea what to expect. It's like Rainbow Splash, but still. Oh, that bottom half of that palette is doing things to me. Whoa. Okay, this might need a video. Oh my God, look at these shades here. And there's something else in there as well. What is this? OPV metal and liquid glitters in the shade Glistening Ray and Tease Me. I mean, if it's anything like the palette, I'm very excited about these. Oh my God. Look at that. I need to put you on my hand. Beautiful. <gasps> All right, next I'm gonna take this guy here. I don't know who this is from. Stay there, leaning tower of fossils. <gasps> oh my God. I know. Oh my God. I needed a new pair of straighteners so bad. Every single one of mine are just like, they're like, they're, it's their time. You know what I'm saying? As if GHD. What? <gasps> oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm going through all the hair changes at the moment. So they've sent over the Platinum Plus Professional Styler. Nah, I'm way too excited about this. Thank you, GHD. Holy crap, that's so nice. Oh my God, I can't wait to straighten my hair tomorrow. Then, I kind of know what this is, but also kind of don't. Like, I, know, I know what it is because it's the Cosmetics um, Olivia Buckland Beauty Box, which I'm very excited about. I love the Cosmetics boxes, but I don't know what's inside. This box is full of Olivia's favorite products, retails for 110 pounds. Uh, the box is a total value of 299 pounds. Oh my God. Um, yeah, so the box costs 110, which I mean, is up there, but it says it has like 300 pounds worth of product in there. Oh, I am interested to see what is inside. I'm, I'm not gonna look in the little book. I'm not gonna do it to myself, I wanna just look. Oh my God, I'm gonna be sick. I know what that thing is there. Oh my God, this, no freaking way. Ofra on the Glow Highlighting Palette. No. Oh my God, it's bloody beautiful. Look at that. Rodeo Drive, Beverly Hills, Blissful. Oh my God, the amount of times I've looked at this, like on Beauty Bay and been like, I want it so bad. Oh my God, that is sick. Wait, I swear this is like 90 pounds or something. Like this thing is not cheap. Oh my God, I cannot believe I have this. We then have, what is this? My Sidekick Pressed Pigment Palette. It says Olivia on it, so I'm guessing this is like, is this like her own palette? Oh, okay. I was not expecting it to look like that. I don't know why, but that's actually a bit of a pleasant surprise. That's actually a really interesting looking palette. Like, it's obviously very, very neutral, but also there's like a load of little random pops of color there. Oh my God, that reds. Holy balls. Yellow looks a little bit meh, but that red is like kind of mental. Okay, I can see something else here. Unicorn Lashes. Okay, this box so far is like probably one of the best that I've seen. 
We've got the Sassy Doll Lashes from Unicorn Cosmetics. Then, oh my sweet Jesus. The Toucher Dewy Skin Cream. I have heard everyone talk about this. And actually, the only Toucher products I've ever actually gotten have been from this box. Like, oh, look how freaking fancy that is. Just put it out of his own little box. It's got like his own little, I don't know, little house. It's got a little spatula. It's so fancy. I love it. This is the Rose Gold Goddess Shimmering Dry Face and Body Oil from Coco Brown. Oh, hello. I've not seen this before. We then have some bits from W7, another one here, and Carter Beauty. We have the car... Pepe's jumping in a box. We then have the Carter Beauty Supreme Gel Liner. Not even heard of that. We then have a Skin Republic Prep and Glow Face Sheet Mask. So this one is also in collaboration with Olivia. And then the last thing is massive. Oh my God, is this what I freaking think it is? Yeah, okay, this is definitely the best cosmetics box I've seen. Look at these unicorn brushes. Oh my God, they are beautiful. And that looks like a really good highlighter brush. So good. I then have this, which is, I've like kind of opened it, but kind of not. Oh, I know what this is, kind of. Actually, I don't. I had no idea what this was. What are you? It says, I have revolution, Marie Curie. I'm trying to like stuff my hand to this little bit here. Oh, that's nice. So I think they've like collaborated with Marie Curie. Yeah, and one pound of every purchase of the highlighter goes to the Marie Curie Foundation. Yeah, that is stunning. You could use that as like an eyeshadow palette as well. I think that's what they actually sometimes advertise them as. I feel like it's a little bit too dark for me for like a highlighter, but if I like mix those shades... Okay, actually that's really stunning. Oh, and they gave me a little pin. Thanks guys. Next is something that I never thought, I never thought I would see this day. Tarte have sent me something in PR. This is literally like, this is little like, 18 year old Steph's biggest dream here. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have had a peek. I have seen what's inside and it's so bloody funny. So inside it says, similar stress occurs when you realize you've never tried shape tape. And then it says, when your shape tape fits in every shape and form, it's perfection. They've literally sent the board game perfection. I've never played this, but I feel like I need to play this. Like what absolute weirdos in the best possible way. And then down here, they sent me some shape tape and the little blending sponge. You guys all know how much I love shape tape. I, it's literally like one of my most favorite concealers of all time. But mine, I think at the moment, because I have got a tan, it's not the right kind of like tone to me, but they've sent me like three different shades. Which actually, I think are completely different to what I'm using at the moment. So hopefully I'll be able to find a shade that like suits me better. And they've also sent over the little blending sponge as well, which I've heard a lot about. Thanks guys. And thanks for the weird game of perfection. I can't wait to play it. Freaks. Next is something from Smashbox. I'm trying to trying to keep calm here. So this says Smashbox, Smashbox and the Hood Witch. It says Crystallize. I think this is like a collaboration. Yes, it's like a little collaboration here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy shit, that's so nice. Look. I mean, it's a little bit tangled up, but it's like, it's like a rose quartz pendant. That's so nice. Like it's one thing when brands send you products, like that's enough. But when they like send you little gifts like that, that is so freaking nice. So as part of the collection, they have sent over the Photo Finish Love Ritual Primer Water. Does it have a scent? Oh my God, it does. That literally smells like perfume. We've then got, what are these? Liquid eyeshadows. Yeah, we've got three liquid eyeshadows here. So we've got the shade, Mindful AF, which looks like a blue. So I'm obviously gonna have to look at it. By the way, the packaging. Mate, that's sick. That's some sick packaging. Okay, I'm sold. I'm instantly sold. Then I actually do have quite a few more parcels like kind of like going down to the ground here. But um, let's, let's clear a little bit of space here. So then we have something from Iconic. I mean, you guys know, I've already tried this. They're brow silk and I freaking love it. But I guess they've like sent me an extra one by mistake. Um, head on over to my Instagram. I'll make sure I put a little giveaway live with this. Thank you very much, so iconic. Next we have, 
Oh, more sheet masks. There's greetings from K-Glow. Take your skincare to the next level with the latest sheet mask innovation from Korea. Oh my God, I love Korean skincare. It looks like they have four different types. We've got hydrating, balancing, brightening, and smoothing. I'm always down to try a new sheet mask. Thank you very much, I will report back. All right, then, something from Amazon. Have I ordered anything from Amazon recently? Oh my God, piss off. Some of you may recognize this. For those of you that maybe don't, this is the Beauty Blender washing machine thing. I've done a full video on it, um, but like literally about a month and a half later, two months later, it's here. Woo. Um, okay, I don't need, I don't need two of these. I barely even need one of these. Uh, again, I will do a giveaway of this. I'm thinking about doing a little Instagram video of this anyway. So yeah, I'll do a little giveaway on that video. Stay tuned. <sighs> it took so long. Next down here, oh yes, I know what this is. Big yellow box from DHL, which means a bunch of Yes Style stuff. Again, I ordered this stuff like, God, like over a month ago. I have no idea what I picked out. All right, so the first thing I've got is, what is this? Uh, oh, it's an eyebrow guide. Of course it's an eyebrow guide. Why wouldn't I buy an eyebrow guide? Uh, then I have the Elf Prep and Glimmer Stick. I think it's like a kind of stick highlighter. I then have the Margarita Azul six color eyeshadow palette from Rude Cosmetics. I picked up a lot of random stuff. I then got some sunglasses. I feel like these are gonna be huge on my face. Let's have a look then. Do I like them? I don't know. I mean, it's given me a nice little break from these lights for a minute, that's for sure. I've got the Cat Eye Contrast Trim Sunglasses. Let's try those on as well. Can I just start doing my videos? with sunglasses on, because this is way easier with these like blaring lights. This is much easier. I'm gonna be like Casey Neistat or something and just, so am I looking at the camera? Am I? Who knows? So then we'll try these. Ooh. Well, these are definitely like a, oh, it's got like a weird nose bit. Look how, it looks like I've got a little tiny fake nose there. Oh, oh, I think I quite like them. My eyebrows look like they're fake with these sunglasses. And then last but not least from Yes Style is something that I have been dying to try for a really long time. The recharging magnetic mask kit from e.l.f. It's that mask that like, yeah, the magnetic one that you can just pick up. I've been dying to try that. That again, Instagram video in the making. Okay, there's still so much more to do. I've got a Michael's trying to jump. Michael's going crazy. He's like, oh my God, so many boxes. I know, Michael, it's a lot. It's a lot for you to take in. Yeah, you're just sitting there crying. Wah. Wah. That's literally him. Oh my God. He's lost it. He's fully lost it. Next is something that is quite like, not old, but like I've had it for a while and I've just never shown it to you guys. Never really opened it, to be honest. This, if you can see it, it's a huge like foundation shaped box from Ciate. Like literally look how big that is. Ta-da! That's what the foundation actually looks like. It says it is a radiant buildable coverage foundation. That actually sounds right up my street. Ooh. Thanks, Yate. Um, I wish I could fit this into the frame to show how like big and nice it is, but um, yeah, thank you. Next is something that actually got lost at the post office while I was moving, but I'm very, very excited to have it. Hey, Rachel's Palettes of Revolution. So we have the Ultimate Goddess Palette which I mean, I think there's, yeah. So I've got like a little picture of it there. I don't want to open it just yet because I do want to do like a full first impressions. And then we have the Goddess on the Go face and shadow palette, which is there a picture of that one? Is there? Yeah. That one there. These look really, really good. I'm really excited about these. I mean, I do think it's mostly the highlighters that have got me excited. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to try this. Congrats, Rachel. I know it's like really, really late because Got lost in the post, but thank you. Then we have this mysterious little black box. This is from Technic. Ooh, so they've just given me a bunch of different products. I'm guessing these are like new products or maybe like festival products maybe. I then have the, what is this? It says, tan like a pro, professional self tan. Uh, okay. Oh, it's from Sienna X. I haven't used their stuff in ages. It looks like it's all changed. Ooh, self-tanner, remover, and mitt. Yes, please. I mean, I haven't got any self-tan on now, but oh, when the time comes, I'm gonna be needing this. Then got a little mitt and a chocolate. Okay, so now let's try and tackle this pile up here. 
Still got 14 things to go. I need to really speed up, don't I? Uh, okay, I know what this is. This came today. This is the Natural Bronzer Self Tan Dry Oil. I've actually been trying this out for a little while. I got sent it a few weeks back and I actually opened it and tried it and I really, really like it. It's really, really good. It's like one of those ones you just kind of shake. And then there's something else in here. What is this? Oh my God, that's really funny. Dip and tan. Instead of a dip dab, which by the way, used to be like my favorite thing when I was younger, we have a dip and tan. Oh my God, so I can actually eat this. Sweet. Next. So apparently I'm on Steeler's PR list now. I feel like I'm gonna cry. This is all a bit too much. I've been sent this lovely briefcase, but what the hell is inside it? The Beauty Boss Lip Gloss. Look at that, that is a fancy ass PR package. They have some nice colors. There's like a few neutrals, a few kind of like vampy colors, but then loads of like weird colors and I'm into it. This is from Nair. These are the wax strips for legs and body for sensitive skin. Cool. I'm actually down to try that. I tried waxing with like the drippy thing. We didn't get on too well, but I'm keen to try that. Then got another little envelope here. Oh, I've been waiting for this. The new Urban Decay Foundation and Concealer. So this is the Stay Naked Foundation. And then they've also sent over three different concealers as well. So some of you guys may remember, I went to the Summer Solstice Party with Urban Decay a few weeks ago. Best time of my life from what I remember. But basically we got a little sneak peek of the new foundation. We got to actually have it color matched by one of the global artists. And so yeah, now it's launched. They sent over the shades that we were like matched to. I've already seen loads of requests on Twitter and Instagram for you guys asking for me to try this out. That looks like a good color. It looks like a very good color. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try this out in a video soon. And I'll also try it out with the concealer as well. Oh, I'm excited about this one. Next, as you can see, this one says fragile. Oh my God, I'm actually gonna throw up a little bit. Holy shit, my manager said she was gonna do this, but I, whoa. Oh my God. You guys know that like Rodeo Drive is like my favorite highlighter of all time. Always has been, probably always will be. This is literally like a freaking dream. They've sent over like so many different liquid lipsticks. So many liquid lipsticks. And then, oh my God, please don't. My little heart can't take this. Rodeo Drive, Bay, Bay. All of the lights, got the Americano bronzer. Oh my God, no. <laughs> I've got another one of these, the glow palette things. Oh my God. I was excited enough about having one of these, let alone two. Um, so again, like, I'm literally kind of almost like welling up, like giveaway, 100% giveaway. This is insane. I've got the Soho highlighter in collaboration with Talia Ma, you go girl, uh, a matte bronzer. I've got the glazed donut highlighter, Blissful, a Bellini blush, Star Island. Oh my God, I'm in my element right now. Oh my God. Also, look at the freaking size of those pans. It's like the size of my head. Mate, I'm actually a little bit, I'm kind of in shock to be honest. There's still other things in there. Um, okay, that really just happened. I don't know what to say. I've never seen so many over highlighters in my little life. Whoa, is all I have to say about that. Um, Freaking whoa, and thank you. Whoa and thank you. Whoa. Next, I feel like we're getting down to all of like, the really exciting ones here. Um, Nas. I don't. I don't understand why brands wanna give these things to me. Like, oh my God, I'm not fancy enough for these brands, I swear. I literally have. Oh, I think I saw this on someone's vlog. I think I did, oh my God. So it says the Icon turned on the Orgasm collection. I've got an Orgasm blush, Orgasm liquid highlighter. Orgasm oil infused lip tint, endless orgasm palette and orgasm lip balm. <gasps> so this is what Naomi Campbell is like, kind of the face of. Hi Naomi, how are you? You all right mate? Do you wanna just, just pop you there? I think you're a little bit out of shot, but we'll just sit there and just, we'll have a chat later. This is what caught my eye, the endless orgasm palette. Ooh, oh my God, Nas is so fancy man. Too fancy for me to even open apparently. So it's apparently for eyes, lips, and cheeks. Okay. I'm gonna swatch a few. Oh my God, it's a cream. Look. 
Oh my God, they look so nice though. And then you've got the liquid highlighter as well. Like, just watch it there. Oh, it's a little bit more of like a subtle glow. That still looks pretty. The packaging is stunning. Next is a little something from Blank. So I am actually going to be working with them on a little something over the next few months. Oh, thanks guys. They hooked me up. Oh my God, is that Prosecco? Prosecco. You know, way to a girl's heart. So we've got the whitening toothpaste, the whitening treatment. We've got another whitening treatment, a little water bottle, little bubbles. Oh my God, M&Ms. Oh, I've got little Blanks logos on them. I probably didn't go for my teeth Blanks. All the Prosecco, not really. Thank you so much, but like, I'm supposed to be telling people to look after the teeth, not eat M&Ms and get drunk. I then have two different glossy boxes and I probably have M&Ms in my teeth. Let's pick out a few little goodies from here. Okay, so we've got the Sleek Face... Do you mind? Sleek Face Form Palette, which I really like. Oh, a little Model Co. Lip Matte Cream in the shade Peachy Nudes. And the other one that I have, this one says... It's the... What, what, is it, what does it say? <gasps> yes, these things are so weird. I have one of them in my cupboard over there. I mean to try it out. This is a face mask. And it's got a really creepy baby on the top. Sorry, baby. Another little something that caught my eye is the Barry M Chisel Cheeks. I haven't used this in a really, really long time. I do still have it. So again, this will pop in a giveaway. Next is something from Benefit. I think we have a little idea as to what this could be. So this is the Hello Happy Flawless Brightening Foundation. And they've given it to me in a shade four. And then we also have the like, actual like liquid foundation. I've not tried either of the Benefit Hello Happy foundations because I had the one originally and they've got this one. I've not tried out any of them. So I'm actually very, very interested in this. Next we have, what are you? Ooh, Revolution. The Game On, Level Up Your Look with Revolution's best-selling palettes, now with more to love. These are massive. Very nice, and how much are these? 12 quid, that's bloody good, isn't it? Okay, this one looks right up my street. These look decent, I mean, 12 quid, a ton of colors. Um, I'd be interested to see like what these are actually like. Then the next thing is something that I have unboxed, kind of. I haven't like properly looked into it, but like it's very obvious what this is. And I, when I saw this, I was in shock. I got this literally like when I was moving my stuff, the postman actually stopped me when I was moving from one house to another. And I ripped it open just thinking like, oh, I just wanna have a little sneak peek. And then I had to just put it in the van and we moved it. And I just remember I was like, wait, what? Like, what the hell? Feel Unique sent me a Ricky Ricky mirror. I have wanted these for so long. If you guys haven't seen these, they are like the bougiest little vanity mirrors you will ever see because they can take selfies from them. I don't know how that works. My mind doesn't, I don't understand it, but you can like, it's got like a Bluetooth selfie function. It's got a little magnetic magnifying mirror as well. Yeah, this, this is sick. This is literally like, like if, if all of this wasn't like Christmas enough, this is just like, crazy to me. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna put it up in my makeup room. I know exactly where I'm gonna put it. Then another thing I kind of half opened, and again, I just completely forgot about it up until now, is this from Collection. Collection sent me a mirror as well. This looks like, I'm actually gonna upgrade my mirror setup here because I've got all these fancy mirrors now that are gonna light me up and make me look way better looking. Oh my God, and there's a cookie in there. That's probably not all right to eat still, but I'm probably gonna eat it anyway. So yeah, Collection sent me like a light up vanity mirror as well. And they also sent over some of their brow products. So it says, introducing Incredibrow. I'm guessing that's this one here. It says it's the brow definer in brunette. Oh, okay, so the Incredibrow range is like a range. So we have a tinted brow mascara. We have a semi-permanent brow gel. We've got like the brow pencil. And then we have the little brow kit as well, which I have actually tried before. That's cool. Thank you guys so much. And thank you for the mirror. All right, so then two more things to go. This is from Tangle Teaser, as you might be able to tell. Oh my God, some of these brands are so, well, all these brands are nice, but like some of these like just fully go all out. It says enclosed you'll find the wet detangler with stickers and a personalized gift for your continued support of the brand. Oh, that's so cute. I, I do love a bloody tangle teaser. Oh my God, is that, are there donut stickers in there? And then yeah, we've got the little makeup bag as well. Thank you guys so much. All right, so last but not least, I've like made a bit of a mistake with this. I'm leaving this to last because I don't really know how to open this. So, um. This was the envelope. Didn't really realize it was a jiffy bag until obviously you turn it around. 
I just ripped it and with Jiffy bags, they're like just full of dust. <laughs> like actual dust. Um, but I've already like committed to it, so I'm just gonna... What is this? Need to get this out. What is this? <laughs> Why did I choose to do this? Go over there, you dusty, dusty bag. Okay, so who is this even from? So this is from Bare Minerals. It says it's the Clean Glow Collection. I'm thinking either like skincare or highlighters. Oh my god. Highlighters. Five of them. Mm. What's this one? This one's in the shade Free. It looks very kind of like champagne-y. Okay, Bare Minerals packaging has upgraded a little bit since I worked there. Mate. Nah. Uh, okay, Bare Minerals have like upped their game a little bit, so it seems. Okay, I feel like this is a really good one to end on actually. God, these look stunning. God, like why have I not heard about this? Got a bunch of different brushes. This looks like the most perfect bronzer brush. Yeah, okay, uh, Bare Minerals have, again, I'll say it again, they've uh, upped their game a little bit there. What else have we got here? We've got two bronzers. We have Warmth and Photan. Oh my God. So it's basically just like press versions of the original. I used to use Warmth all the time. I actually just threw my old Warmth away because it was literally like six years old. Yeah, six years old, but now there's like a pressed version. Oh my God. I'm really excited about that. Warmth used to be my most favorite thing ever, but it was loose, so I was just kind of like, wasn't really my thing. Now I've got it in a pressed version. Oh my God, game changer. Thank you so much, Bare Minerals. All that stuff looks bloody great, to be honest. So guys, that is everything for today's PR haul, I think. I hope. If I've missed anything out, I'm leaving it. Oh God, again, thank you so much to all the brands and companies and PR companies, whoever that have sent me anything. This is mad to me. I feel I feel like a bit in a bit of a weird situation. And I'm, now I'm welling up again. Every PR haul, I freaking cry. Bloody meet and greet tomorrow. Let me know if you're coming. Can't wait to see you. Uh, I will probably cry then as well. Meet and greet tomorrow, like, ugh, just, whoa. What the hell is my life? Thank you so much if you were one of the brands that sent me anything. Like seriously, thank you so, so much. Um, but also thank you to all of like you guys obviously because without you, like none of this would ever in a million years happen. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. Like I said, all of the Kiko meet and greet details will be down below, but off the top of my head, it is in Manchester at the Trafford Center at the Kiko store. The meet and greet is gonna go on for three hours, so between five and eight, but if you do wanna like kind of get in line, you do need to get in there between like five and seven. First hundred people get a goodie bag. The entire thing is completely free, so you don't have to like sign up for any tickets or pay anything or anything like that. I would just love to see your little faces and give them a Give them a squish. If you guys did enjoy this video, as always, please give it a big thumbs up. And I mean, I know there was a lot, but if there was anything you guys want me to do like a dedicated video on, or I don't know, like featuring some sort of like first impressions or whatever, then please let me know and I will definitely get around to doing that. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys. I literally, I'm stuck in my desk. I can't get out right now. Uh, but yeah, I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.